Kulu Nchaveni Makaburi stays here, he struggles to walk, had to make means on getting to this particular Randawal where she cooks and goes about her daily life. The A wheelbarrow is essential to move down the footpath, all in effort to get water home no matter how far. Come rain or scotch hot, this is a day-to-day -day life here. Water stream down the little fountain when kneeling down is a must to get what is meant to be a basic right, water. Scrapping and making use of water from a fountain they share with animals is no longer taboo. While in some households, perhaps maybe in Gauteng, um, you may be waking up to go straight to your kitchen and get water straight from the basin. But here in DDD, water crisis is still a reality. This old woman is getting water here and possibly this could be drinking water. And it's, behind me there's also others who are trying to do their laundry. After they've gotten water from here, they also tell us that, of course, there are animals which also make use of this particular water, meaning humans and animals have to come here to rescue their thirst. <laughs> this is Nandoni Dam. It covers over 1,500 hectares and over 160 million cubic meters. Of course, that's the storage capacity that it has. Over the past 14 years after its completion, this dam still does not service the local community. Up to so far, they didn't promise a, a good things because we don't have water up to so far. Some of the people, they, they take water from the stream. Some of the people that don't have even a single water on the pipe. So we do have a, a lot of problems. How long has it been? Since last year, October. All pipes which they need to be fixed, uh, and up, up until now, where, where whenever we try to communicate with those people who are in charge, they, they normally told, told us that they are busy looking at the matter, but up to now, it has been a long time where we have no water in our uh, reticulations and our re 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 reservoirs are not being filled by the way we, we expect them to be. So 
It has been a long time since the inception of, of, of the dam or the, the construction of the dam. The water first people have just promised us just because we are affected, we will never get shortage of water. Even if they have also promised us that, that they will provide us with, with, with some wash, washing zones where people can come and wash clear, clearly. With, with. Residents across the villages surrounding the Nandoni Dam have told Eyewitness News that they've been told that the dam will support over one million households, but that has not been the case since 2004. Yeah, they, them the historical challenges that happened in the dam uh, 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 to, uh, uh, caused, caused uh, 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 brought a lot of challenges to the district municipality, particularly to the community that we are talking about. Uh, because that infraction took long for what I first completed. There were technical flaws, the challenges with contractors, and uh, as a district municipality, in terms of that infrastructure of the dam, that is the competency. Of the water, of the Department of Water and Sanitation, our role is to make sure that once the dam is completed, uh, we put up a bulk system uh, so that we can provide uh, water to all our communities. And in terms of uh, a budget for such infrastructures, uh, as a district, we also rely on on on, on support from national government. Some residents of the DD community have told Eyewitness News that their basic right to water is being disrespected and urge government to do good on its promises and bring water to the people. They say that that should be done as soon as possible. Belana Pahadi, Eyewitness News, DDD community, in Vembe, Limbobo.